welcome back uh, to my tutorial for overlay mosaic in the round it will be better will be free available on Ravelry with a coupon code for my group members um, we just did row three and that is in my case blue yarn I uh, use um, OneDrive to organize my files you see here is my files and so on and uh, my designs and um, I open it and I try to work as much paperless because you can reuse and abuse all the files you want and how you want it and in this case oh I didn't save it well it doesn't matter I know I did these you have to save it when you're done and we did row three here we did row three so we have done and now we're going to start with row four so i use one drive and it's you see you can annotate you can write on it you can scribble on it you can make it better you can say mistake or something and it doesn't need a very big expensive tablet mine is already three years old and still working perfectly with it um funny use knit companion a lot of people use knit companion i don't i use onedrive on my uh android tablet and we're going to start with row four you see uh, we start with the corner here is no x so that is a single crochet the chain for the corner a single crochet there's an x here that means we're going to take the front loop from the pink done in row two and that's a double crochet then again a single crochet back loop in the blue yarn and then a double crochet in the front loop of the pink yarn here and then a single crochet back loop of the blue yarn and then a double crochet front loop of the pink yarn and then again a corner single crochet a chain and a single crochet and we repeat it in a square so you do this four times here we are we're going to change the color of a yarn and you see it's handy to guide your yarn uh, in that stitch we did in the previous row the beginning stitch and we do it now again we do that with the blue yarn we need to start with the pink yarn so we pull through we pull it a little bit tighter not too tight this is tight enough otherwise you can't find these stitches anymore immediately i do a chain one so yarn through and chain one and we find a corner that's here this is my corner this is my see it's my single crochet in the corner you take the back loop only for your single crochet and see now you put that blue yarn over and your pink yarn but you don't use the blue yarn you only use the pink yarn but now it's guided here it's in that stitch and that means it's here for the next row and you only have a little um, color difference in the back and that's how you keep the back a little bit neater than with those big uh, yarns going from one corner to the yarn. other i will do my single crochet uh, my chain for the corner and again a single crochet if i can do that yes i can and what is the pattern again i did my corner and then we start with a double crochet in that front loop here a little bit difficult to see the poor loop is abused already a few times it's here sometimes i use this part of my hook to grab it it's still sti uh, going from under to the top yeah i got it oof pull you sometimes need to pull the corners are a little bit tight always because it has been used in the back loop now you do your double crochet and your single crochet this one is more easier because this one loop is here very much clear here see this one front loop of the pink do your double crochet and your single crochet and then the pattern says a double crochet find that oh it's difficult to find but here it is here it is try to grab it it's not always easy see the first rounds never are easy it's always a little i hope i'm in the middle of my camera hope i switched it on 
Otherwise, I can do it again. It's not the first time I haven't switched my camera on that I'm talking here for Pete's not. <laughs> That's a Dutch expression, and it means I'm talking for no one but myself. Pete's not. Well, sometimes the Dutch have these wonderful expressions. Ugh. Yes, got it. See? Then make your double crochet. This is a little bit a wide stitch. I don't like that. I will redo that stitch because I like it to be a little bit more even. But this is already done a little bit. So there. And your double crochet. Your last of this row. And then your corner again. In that back loop of the chain you made before. Look, this is it. Here, it's here. If I can find it. Pot for doses. Yes, got it. Back loop only. I take everything, I think. Yeah, now I got the back loop. Single crochet. Chain one. Single crochet. Finish your corner. And then immediately the pattern says a double crochet. And that is the same loop as we used before, like we did with the blue. See? Same loop. It gets abused a little bit. First it gets the back stitch and then the front stitch. So, single crochet, follow the pattern, double crochet, which is more easier because the loop is just in front of your face. Can't miss it. A single crochet. And a double crochet again here. Let me see. There it is. No, I think I take a loop too much, a loop too far, not a bridge too far, but a loop too far. Oh, there, there, I want to have this one. Got it, double crochet. And then you do your single crochet in the back loop of that blue. Chain one, single crochet in the back loop, same back loop. And again, a double crochet. In the same, well, the whole yarn loop as we had the previous double crochet because it's a corner, then a single crochet, then a double crochet, we try to do it, yeah, no, I didn't get all, it's not my yarn, my favorite yarn this. Because I work with cotton, because acrylic always makes me sneeze, which is reasonable now. Did it a little bit sloppy, but well done. And a single crochet. And a double crochet. Find it. Here it is. There. That loop. I want it. Why don't I get it? I got it. And then the back loop of your chain. one chain one here and double crochet a single crochet again and then follow the pattern this is the last time uh, we follow the pattern which is three double crochets with a single crochet in between well find that front loop do it there back loop single crochet front loop double crochet it's an x and back loop and the last one of this round is a double crochet in the front it's the same loop as we abused in the first one first stitch shows this one and you pull your yarn a little bit more through this is through it through the loop and there it is this stitch you find it you pull your yarn backwards see Pull all through, pull it a little bit tighter, not massively, don't pull it too hard, just make a good stitch. And there it is, there, we did our row number four. You see the pattern is forming, there's a cross in the middle, I hand, and then the little corners. Well, I hope to see you for row number five, thank you.